Hello everybody, I hope you are doing fine. I'm doing pretty fine. I'm a little bit stressed, but I'm doing fine. We are here today with this TE shaped guitar. Okay, this is a prototype. And if you don't know what I mean and what I want from you right now, please watch this video. What I want from you is I present you this idea of a guitar, this idea of a guitar. And you tell me in the comments below what you think about it. What is a no-go for you on this guitar? You know, what they need to change, in your opinion, okay? Or if you would buy it or not. And if the reactions are overwhelmingly good, they have to build it, you know? Before you build something, you already know if people like it or not. So that's the idea behind it. Let's start. The first problem I got right now, I got no name for this guitar. So please, if you got a name, let me know. This is the TE Firefly or something, I don't know right now. If they build this guitar, it will come maybe from a different factory. Maybe they build it in Indonesia, you know? So this is a made in China guitar. And the first thing I can say if you saw my Fusion Pro video, this one, that the quality of this made in China guitars is not as good as on the Indonesian guitar, okay? It's really a difference, you can feel it and you can a little bit see it. It's not, you know, everything is not as perfect as in, on the Indonesian guitar. The Fusion Pro was really perfect. So, we got a tele-shaped guitar again. And we got a black bag, just for information. For your information, so I got the problem right now here. I cannot tell you for sure uh, what body would we got here, but I can see a flamed maple cap. Or I think it's a maple cap, maybe it's the whole body, you know? We got this wooden binding here, and that's maple for sure. Maybe the whole body is maple. So, and we got a flamed maple veneer on top. We got two Roswell humbuckers. They can be splitted. That's pretty cool. You don't see so often humbucker TE style guitars uh, and coil split. And of course, volume port, tone port, three way switch. In this position, neck humbucker, eh, both humbuckers, bridge humbucker, and this white perloid pickguard. We got a one piece maple neck. And it's pretty thick, I have to say. It's a pretty chunky neck and uh, still comfortable, but uh, yeah, that's the difference to the Fusion Pros. They had almost shredder necks. This is a different one. It feels more vintage style, more classic. These are cheap tuners. Absolutely not a fan of them, I have to say. Tuning uh, is a little bit a problem. And we got this old Harley Benton logo. So you can see this is a pretty old Harley Benton prototype because they got a new logo and if they build this guitar it will have the new logo for sure. I'm pretty sure about it. And we got two string trees. We got a matching headstock, so flame maple veneer here, flame maple veneer on the headstock too. Let me get my polytune off here for now. The headstock got no angle. That's something I always miss to tell, okay? We got a straight headstock. So we got two string trees to keep the strings down. And as far as I know, this is an oven coal fretboard. Pretty nice looking wood and it's well made. And we got 22 medium jumbo frets. Not stainless steel frets or something, standard frets. And we got a bone nut. So, and there are no problems. And we got this bridge here. It's a no-name bridge and there's a problem. The screws are sticking out and that's pretty sharp here, okay? With different uh, screws or with a different neck angle maybe, um, th this problem would be solved. But yeah, still it's a prototype and everything can be changed, you know? String through body construction, yeah? We got the six strings going through here and of course uh, bolt on neck and yeah, this uh, square heel here. Never a fan of the square heels. That would be something if they would round the edge here a little bit. They did it on some other guitars, by the way. Um, that would be cool. 3.9 kilogram, 3.9 kilogram. Feels honestly like more, I have to say. It's a pretty heavy guitar, in my opinion. And the strap pins are standard strap pins. That's nothing special. And yeah, we got these white inlays, that's well made. And we got white fretboard inlays here on the side. By the way, the switch here got a strat knob, okay? Yeah, that's it, let's hear it. We are in my Bugera tri rack clean channel. By the way, I'm recording the eyes too again today. So in the description below, you will find the, the eyes to my Google Drive. 
you know. And if you want to see more of this guitar, more picks and uh, etc., please come in my Thoman and Harley Benton support group on Facebook. The link is in the description below too. Clean channel neck humbucker. <laughs> And neck humbucker split it. Humbucker split it. Middle position, humbucker. Split it. Humbucker. Bridge Humbucker Split it They just have to change the tuners, okay, in the production model. The tuners are pretty, pretty bad, and I got some tuning issues because of them. It's always a little bit, you know, sloppy, I have to say. Uh, so please bear with me. I try to keep the guitar in tune, but these tuners really need to be changed, okay? Uh, we got coil split sounds, so pretty versatile, okay? Six different sounds. The pickups are, in my opinion, a little bit dark sounding. Some people love it, some people don't like it. And the coil split sounds are, in my opinion, pretty good. Humbucker. Okay, let's go directly into the second channel. Bridge Humbucker. much gain. So a little bit less gain on the amp. So now let's continue. Bridge humbucker. Humbucker again. Yeah, pretty dynamic sounding in my opinion. Middle position. Uh, 
Boy Split. Schambacker. Yeah, I like the dynamic of the guitar. And yeah, split it. And in comparison, now the neck humbucker split it. Middle. Volume pot a little bit down. Let me turn on my tube screen right here. <laughs> Enough of that, let me show you quickly here the volume port. Yeah, works in my opinion. And the tone port. I really like these pickups, but in my opinion they are mainly for blue stuff and clean stuff, but they can do this metal stuff.
that's it. Okay, again, bear with me. Okay, the tuners are not the best. The guitar got some little tuning problems. Just the tuners, the rest is okay. Um, if you like this guitar the way it is, um, please let me know in the comments below. Come in my uh, Facebook group, Tom and Harley Benton support group. And yeah, if you think they just need to change something on this guitar, let me know, okay? So have a nice day. Thanks for watching.